My lovers, one second, the, the man your guy is passing. <laughs> is that a message for you, Aquarius? Yes, I did say that right. The man your guy, there's this truck that drives around and sells manure for your plants, you know, and your fruits and your vegetables. So some kind of shit about to hit the fan, Aquarius. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but come on. It was funny, right? Come on. Just as I press the button to record, there's a manual truck. This is your message. Some shit is about to hit the fan. Anyway, let me make a proper introduction. Aquarius Nation and their lovers. My name is Made for Love and welcome to your August 2020 astrological sign update. Now, when you're watching these readings for love, you're not just going to watch your sun sign. You're going to watch your sun, your moon, your Venus and your rising sign. Some people um, resonate more with their north node as well. And then you're going to watch your um, person's placement um, in these areas. Um, and then you're going to use your intuition, be flexible. And if a, a thumbnail captures your attention or a particular title, you're going to, you're going to watch it. Because most likely um, that is a message from your spirit guides that they want to give to you. But your reading hasn't even started and I've gotten the message. Some shit is about it. Define Aquarius. I'm letting you know that. All right. So we're going to go into the cast, but we're going to bear that first message in mind because I think that's a significator today. <laughs> Some shit is about to hit the fan. So let's remember that whilst we go through um, these messages. OK. All right. So we're going to start by um, getting a multidimensional look of your person. And remember, these energies can be flipped. So you just place yourself wherever, place your person wherever. OK. Just remember that they can be flipped and they can be intertwined so what i found so we're gonna get a message from your person's higher self first and we have following my heart okay so it's a card number nine 45 reduces to nine and there comes back the manual guy manual guy again twice some shit is about to hit the fan i'm telling you this Anywho, because somebody is determined to follow their heart. And let me tell you, when people make the decision to follow their heart, there are things that would need to fall away. So some shit is definitely about to hit the fan. Um, so this person's having a heart space activation right now. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo um, or an Aquarius like yourself because the kind of star energy that I'm seeing coming out of that heart space there, um, it could be Aquarius as well, okay? So we're going to pull some cards on that. Let's get a 3D message I'm from your person now. I know that you are my soul spouse. All souls are intertwined for eternity. I have dreams about our past lives and our future. So um, this opening of the heart space here is also allowing for proper channeling of the messages and downloads um, from spirit, spirit guides, um, source energy. Okay, so they are getting a lot of signs synchronicity and specifically dreams about you and them and even dreams about past lives okay and maybe futuristic or prophetic dreams um as well okay and that's really um bolstering them to um follow their heart because it's what they, this is what they're being guided to do right now thanks for the confirmation there for, all right now this um is the Twin Flame Soul Made Higher Love Wisdom Oracle Cards. Um, and it's actually designed by one of our soul sisters, Renee. So if you're interested in purchasing this deck, which is and it's absolutely amazing, um, you can check out my description box. Um, the um, information is there. Now we have separation. So we're picking up on somebody that you are in separation with. And it looks like this person is in a karmic cycle here. All right. Um, look at them here. They're stuck in this karmic cycle. But whilst they're stuck in this karmic cycle, guess what they're doing? Um, they're thinking about you. So remember, we manifest from our thoughts and feelings. Now, this person kind of sad because they're missing you, right? Kind of sad thinking about being with you. So the more they think about being with you and out of this um, karmic situation, um, is the more they're going to manifest a tall moment. So that's what I'm saying. Shit is about to hit the fan because this person, whether they know it or not, they are actively manifesting you through their thoughts and feelings. Um, it says here, separations are orchestrated by the universe for us to take a step back and work on ourselves. We have no control over other people and we should learn to let go of codependent behaviors. Spirit is asking you 
to learn unconditional love for self. So um, there's a cycle of codependency that this person is closing out. They could have been codependent on your behavior even. But I'm getting, it looks like they were in some kind of toxic situation. Some sort of karmic situation here. And it looks like it's ending because look, we have a card number 37. And 37 um, reduces to 10. Uh, I'm getting another message. That's why I'm, I'm speaking slowly. Um, reduced to 10. So that's the ending of a cycle. And then it reduced to 1 new cycle beginning but besides that and this is the message i was getting 37 is the vibrations of three and seven three is the empress takes that inspiration from she and the magician are the same they take that instrument inspiration um from the 5d and they ground it they ground that to the 3d they make something of it so with the assistance and then seven um is a chariot is the chariot and it's also the number of the divine so this person, with the assistance of the divine, um, they're grounding this connection to the 3D. This is what th their thoughts are, are, are propelling this connection forward. It's, it's helping them close off a particular cycle here. Maybe even a cycle of separation. So let's put some cards in this. And let's see what this is all about. So this person, um, they're being pushed, nudged, making a decision to follow their heart. Okay. We have high priestess in reverse. So they want to come and talk to you here. Some of you dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces. But I also read this um, as the opposite polarity, Virgo and Taurus. Um, we have an ace of wands. So this person feels magnetized towards you. This pull that they have towards you. They can't get you um, off their mind. And this is what's manifesting. Um, this new beginning. It's a spiritual beginning. Um, so it's coming down to be grounded. Yeah, I think in the past, um, this person um, did not listen to their intuition. We have it here. We have it there. Okay. Um, and they're regretting that. Right. So they're, they're making this choice. So they're making this choice here now um, to follow their heart. Let's pull another card. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing the action yet, though. What I am seeing um, is your person doing a lot of healing work. A lot of thinking, a lot of swords here, a lot of thinking, but it looks like spirit is prompting them to make some kind of decision here. Let's see about this dreaming and this soul spouse story. <laughs> Let's see what's happening with that. We have the sun card in reverse. Your person really unhappy, really unhappy. You know, ain't no sunshine when you're gone. Right, that's exactly what's happening. And see, they're realizing that they misjudged you. They misjudged this whole situation. If they were the karmic, um, it is, they misjudged this karmic. But now, you know, the truth, they cannot deny it any longer. Look, the Queen of Swords here. The truth has shown up. So they're seeing everything clearly now. Um, and they're seeing that wherever they are at, um, they need to, you know, get moving along. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. So this person wants to come and talk to you. But besides that, the person is downloaded downloading and integrating truth where they were not integrating truth before before they didn't want to see this right this was going to cause too much disrup disruptions in their life so they didn't want to see this they didn't want to recognize this connection they were quite happy with their life how it was they didn't want to change but now there's so much truth that's being downloaded um they have no choice but they have to press on they have to move on let's see the separation card what is this all about okay we have the eight of cups in reverse so they're feeling stuck in some kind of situation here. We have the King of Cups, but they're in love. We have the Nine of Cups. You are their total wish fulfillment. And we have the Two of Wands. So standing at this crossroads, that's what they're doing. They're standing at this crossroads. Um, they're feeling stuck in a particular situation, but at the same time, their heart is leading them in a particular direction. Okay. Um, they feel incredibly conflicted. Um, they, might have, they might have a lot of conflict in their life right now. But Spirit is telling them, express your love um, and it's time to get single. Whatever codependent or toxic connection that they're with. With the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, Spirit is telling them, um, it is time to manifest something new. It's time for a fresh new start. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles here, um, speak your truth. That's what, that's what Spirit is telling them, this person. Speak your truth. 
This person just wants to be authentic. They're tired of living this lie. They're tired of pretending that they're happy. They try, they're tired of, we say in the Caribbean, eating their feelings. Eating their feelings. So let's look at this person's emotional body here. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Like this card wants to stay out. So they definitely have this crossroads here. Feeling conflicted. seen a lot of cards um, from the Sagittarius reading yep no no the one from yesterday Pisces sorry Pisces how is this person feeling okay fearful avoidant this person um, trying not to face a situation here now this person this is why they're they're at this crossroads okay and that's why the, this is why this card wants to stay out this person at this crossroads. So this they are fearful avoidant. Fearful avoidance, they have this fear or this knowing. They have this knowing. It's false. It's a false narrative they're telling themselves. But they have this knowing that people are going to betray them. So even when they enter into relationships, they're expecting people to betray them. So what they do... Um, they put up all kind of little blocks and buffers so that they get, don't get too close to the people um, that they care about, they love, so that they don't get hurt. Um, and this is exactly what your person um, is doing right now. They're doing the same thing. And this causes that kind of push and pull energy. So one minute, and whilst they're there in fear, holding back, they're also magnetized because, you know, they feel that pull of love. So there's always this push and pull. There's always this hot and cold energy. Um, that they're doing because they want to be close to you. They want to be near that fire, but they're afraid of getting burnt. So they want to be close, but not too close. And the minute that they get too close, they're going to run. They're going to run in some sort of way. Whether introduce a third party to the situation, um, try to numb their feelings with um, drugs or wh whatever it is, they're going to find something to use as a buffer um, in this relationship. Some of you can definitely watch um, the Pisces reading. Okay. We have free. Okay. So it looks like. I, th I think something definitely might be ending in their life. We have strong. So that's them standing in their power. Or wanting to. And we have jealous. This person thinks that you're with somebody else. And I think this is what's driving them. Um, to really examine their feelings. Okay. That's what's driving them to examine their feelings. They think that you are moving on. And this has come out in a lot of the readings. Let's see this fearful avoidant card here. Yeah, they, they see the, the intensity of this shit? Um, it's scaring your person. This two of cups energy. Um, it's scaring your person. They've never found this kind of intense psychic connection before and it's just they are absolutely terrified and for some of them that's what's causing them to hold back they're trying to be strong but this um connection absolutely terrifies them and they're on the defense right now they're trying to protect themselves right now so feeling this connection but yet feeling like they have to protect their heart they can get really hurt um with this more hurt than they've ever been hurt before that's what they feel but they feel free why we have a page of swords in reverse and we have um, this queen of wands in reverse. So it looks like there's some kind of breakup that's happening with a karmic energy in this person's life. Yeah. I think previously they felt stuck with this person. But it looks like something is happening here. Um, your person's taking action. I'm also getting a weird message that they actually kind of feel free of this connection um, when they're in the karmic relationship because the intensity of the feelings, um, it doesn't scare them that much. Remember, they have this buffer. They have this buffer. Whereas without the buffer, they feel absolutely trapped. Like they, they feel bound to you. Like they can't escape you. But in the karmic relationship, they have this buffer here. So they, do, they feel less scared. Let's see strong. 
Yeah, I told you something is ending. Look at this Ten of Swords. Something is ending in their lives. They're finally seeing some sort of truth because the Ten of Swords reduced to the Ace of Swords. Okay, so they've seen some kind of truth about the situation and they're allowing something to die. And it looks like the karmic relationship. Look, we have the distorted feminine here. So it looks like some kind of cycle um, with a distorted feminine. And this could be anybody in their life. Could be their father who might be in distorted feminine energy because distorted feminine energy um, is codependent, it's clingy, it's manipulative. Okay, so there's some kind of distorted feminine in their life. There's some kind of cycle with that person or persons um, that's coming to an end. But this person's jealous. Yeah, they think that you've released them. Okay, um, and the thought of you being with someone else is what's causing them to do all this internal examination here um, and really give them the strength um, to release the third party. They just, I, I think this person always thought that you would be there, that you would always be holding on to them. So they were taking you for granted. They were taking your feelings for granted. They always thought that you would be there. Right. So, you know, they could play around. They could do whatever they want, because maybe they did whatever they want with you in the past. But you you shift things up. Ooh, you're more confirmation. You shift things up for them. Because they were holding on to this karmic here. Yeah, because look, I saw it down here. They have abandonment issues. But now you being with someone else has caused this big shift. So there's a lot of healing that's taking place with your place with your person. And they're really looking at their wounding here. And because of this, there's this big cycle, this world card. It's a big cycle that's coming to an end. So it took jealousy. It took you moving away. It took you pulling back your energy um, for this person um, to really show up for this connection. All right, let's have a look at their mental energy with regard to you. When they think about you, think about this connection. Um, exactly um, where's their head at? Where is their head at? What is this? The love is in reverse. They know. They know that you're the one, but they're still here at this crossroads. Don't understand that. Um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're overthinking everything really neurotic right now some of them are depressed so they're not getting that clarity and we have what the knight of cups in reverse I'm really hesitant to come forward all right so let's see let's get three cards when they think about you and they think about this connection where's their mind at um their mind is on the high priestess so the mind is on you and you are on their mind okay um, the mind is on the Knight of Swords reverse. They're not ready to talk, though. <laughs> That's a Gemini. They're not ready to talk. They're not. They're not ready to talk here. Um, they're trying to manifest something. But they have the truth. Know that they have the truth. They have the sort of truth. But they know they have to manifest a new beginning. They have to free themselves first um, before they come forward to talk to you. So it looks like they're in some kind of situation right now. And spirit is prompting them to follow their heart. You are on their mind. You don't have to worry about that. But this person is not ready to speak their truth. This person right now, spirit is telling them they need to focus on standing in their power and sorting out their life. So you see, look there, look the magic wand that they have. The magic wand is actually the sword of truth. And they have to use that now um, to cut the people and things um, that are no longer serving them out of their life. Let's see, Madam High Priestess here. Yeah, they're trying. Ah, oh, it's like they're saying, wait. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that with this card. Wait. <laughs> so, like, wait for me, Prime Priestess. Please be patient with me because it's a card of patience. And I know you've been patient. Okay. Um, they are coming. <laughs> um, to bring justice back to the situation. They are coming. Okay. To speak their truth, to express their love. They want you to wait. But it looks like the time isn't right here. Let's see this Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah. They're not ready to talk yet. 
I think they're thinking about the ways that they deceived you. Um, and this is causing them a lot of anxiety because they don't see how you can forgive them after everything that happened. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to muster up the strength to come forward. Yeah. And there's also a situation with a karmic that they need to sort out. Um, look, we have this Queen of Cups here. Now, in my readings, reverse court cards are karmic energies. And this is the emotionally abusive karmic. So your person right now, they're trying to stand in their power um, and manifest something new. Um, in their life, they're loving themselves. They're loving themselves. This is a lesson that they learned from you. They're loving themselves. And they know that only they can free themselves from this slavery that they're in. Go, Bob Marley. Right? So this is what they're doing now. Um, they are freeing themselves. And they should. They shouldn't bring that drama to you. Um, let's see what's blocking this connection right now. All right. So we have... Um, what I leave these cards in to signify is different things. So for a lot of you, it might be children. There's children involved and your person um, is putting them as priority as they should be. As they should. As they definitely should. Right? The innocence um, come first. But, you know, if it is that he, this... Uh, this um, your person is thinking that they should stay with, because of children. Um, this is a fallacy because all you do is pass down negative habits um, and toxic um, patterns of behavior that these children then repeat and then the cycle never ends. But I'm getting that different, the children are definitely a priority um, right now. Um, what is blocking the connection? Um, your person knows that they have to take this leap of faith, they have to trust their intuition, but they're, they're afraid. They're afraid of the unknown. They're afraid um, of going it on their own. What's blocking this connection? There's this big cycle that's ending. Okay. Um, it's a big cycle in your life. It could be a big cycle in your person's life. But there's this massive cycle that's wrapping up. And I'm, I'm really getting this for the both of you guys. Um, um, and that's blocking the connection right now. So, um, What's blocking the connection? We have... An emperor in reverse. So this is a karmic energy. Okay. So it could be that your person is not standing fully in their power. Or they're dealing with someone. They're telling me another message. Anyway. Um, they're dealing with someone who is incredibly controlling um, and domineering. But I'm also getting this person that they're with that is incredibly controlling and domineering. Um, this is just a, rec a recreation of the relationship that your person had with their father whether your their father was absent or present in this person's life whatever message they got about their father this person is the epitome of it so if their father was absent and cold the karmic that they're with is absent and cold if their father was controlling the karmic that they're with is very controlling if their father was abusive the karmic that they're with um, is abusive. So until your person deals with their childhood wounds and break out or um, come to some kind of reconciliation with the energy of their father, this will continue. Which is weird because we had Pisces and it talked about the mother energy. So it looks like this person's relationship with their parents, this toxic, it looks like your person has a toxic relationship with both parents. Um, this is what's affecting this connection at this time. I'm also getting a message that this might go for you too. So for some of you that, that are, are watching this. The relationship that, with your fa that you have with your father, whether through his absence or presence, is affecting um, the union of this relationship. Whatever he modeled to you by his absence or presence, told you a particular something, sent you a particular subliminal message. That is continuing to affect this relationship. So if your father was inconsistent, you may perceive masculine energy as consistent, as inconsistent. Um, if your father was cold, same thing. Um, if your father was abusive, same thing. So there's something that was modeled to you by your, by your father or your, the masculine energy in your life. The masculine energy in your life, because it could even be your mother. The masculine energy in your life. Um, it's still affecting this relationship. I'm going to pull a card and send, see exactly um, what is this message. Because I'm getting, this is for both of you guys. 
It's about pride and ego. It's about pride and ego. So both of you guys are in your pride and ego. There's something here also about competition and winning and one-upmanship. So everybody wants to be right and nobody wants to compromise. The six of wands is also a card of domination because remember, I'm in mean, the traditional six of wands, like the man returning from battle um, or some kind of victory. So everybody here is looking for, for victory, for success, um, to win. But nobody's interested in compromising and crafting a connection going forward. All right, so if this is resonating, let me pull another card just in case. Yes, conflict, right? So both of you button heads, the power struggle. It's a power struggle here. All right? So if this is resonating with you and your energy and your person's energy, join me in the extended. We're going to look at this person's heart space energy for you. And we're going to look at what they might be hiding. We're going to get some 3D messages, 5D messages. We're going to look at potential actions towards you by the end of the month. And then we're going to get some advice. Guys, thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. Take care. Bye.